In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this makeup look. If you're new to the Makeup Chair channel, then please click subscribe below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. I hope you enjoy this look. It's soft and easy. So let's get started. I've already done my skincare, so our first step is to apply a face primer. A face primer is optional, but it will give your makeup something to hold on to, helping it last longer and glide onto the skin. Next, I'm going to wake up my lips by using a lip scrub. This will exfoliate and increase the blood flow. However, after I exfoliate, I always like to soothe the lips with some lip balm. This will smooth and protect the lips while we continue with the rest of the makeup look. Now it's time for foundation. Choose a foundation that's suitable for your skin type. And I'm going to be applying this with a damp sponge. I start in the center of my face, avoiding the under eyes for now, and just press this over the skin. Allow the sponge to bounce off and on the skin. This will create a soft airbrush finish. For the next step, I'm using concealer. I mix the concealer up on the back of my hand and apply this underneath the eyes. If you wish, you can try looking upwards. This will create a smooth surface under the eyes and help with the application. To set everything in place, I'm going to be taking my face primer. And for the rest of the look, I'm going to be using my makeup brushes. However, before we touch our skin with any powder, we're going to take that sponge again and press this on any areas that might crease. With a large powder brush, apply a sheer layer of powder to start with. Avoid using swirling or buffing motions. Instead, lightly press the powder to create a veil over the skin. Once you've completed this step, your skin should feel smooth. And now we're going to move on to bronzer. Taking my favorite bronzer, I'm going to apply this around the hairline, cheeks, nose, and this will create some definition and shape. For blush, I'm going to apply two shades. These are glowy and will catch the light beautifully. I'm applying this on the apples of my cheeks and softly sweeping upwards. Taking the lighter shade from my eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be applying this on the high points of the skin. Once again, this will catch the light. And then I finish with a soft blend. And we're moving on to the eyes. With that same eyeshadow palette, which is a soft, warm nude, I'm going to apply the matte shade all over the lid. Softly sweep this all over the eye area. Mixing the two matte browns, I'm going to apply this on the outer edge of the eye with a small blending brush. With a little bit more of the lighter brown, I'm then going to take my blending brush and blend this into the crease and along the lid. With the pale highlighter shade that I used on my face, I'm going to be applying this onto the lid. And I'm using my fingertips to press and glide this along the lid. I did my brows, mascara, and lashes off camera. And now we're going to finish off the look with lip liner. After lining, I fill in the lips with a liquid lipstick. And that's the finished look. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. 
I hope you have a wonderful, peaceful day. And if you wish to continue watching, you can click the screen now. And I look forward to welcoming you back soon. Be kind to yourself, stay safe, and bye for now.